technical safeguards. Uh, this is uh, this is where we go first. This is where we excel. This is where, when I say we, I mean we as as a as a as a collective corporation. Um, we we all do well with understanding that technical safeguards need to be put in place, and that there needs to be things put in place to protect your online data, your data in, on your computers and your servers. Uh, this is the lowest hanging fruit for. Uh, compliance additions to your environment. A uh, couple of the things that, that you can do and that are required with technical safeguards are activity tracking software. Um, and a, a lot of times that can be controlled by your back office folks, your technology team, or your MSP, or your cloud provider. Um, a lot of times those folks will have activity tracking software running in the background that basically takes a log of, of what, what's going on with your data and who's accessing your data and when. Um, most of you out there probably do utilize a document management system and something that has an audit trail along with it. Uh, those are, that's very important from a compliance perspective. So you can see who changed the data and when and why and what they changed. Uh, so you, you've got a log of that. One of the, that's very important as you, you go through HIPAA audits you will have to provide that history of that information. Uh, another quick low-hanging fruit way to uh, take care of, the, to, to bolster your environment would be two-factor authentication. Uh, that is something that we offer uh, here at Legal Workspace as, as part of our standard offering. Um, but what, it is, what that means is that you, you, you normally you have a password to get into your PC, uh, and your PC, it, you, it, it, is, what it, it is what it is. Uh, once you type that password in, the second factor of authentication will come up, usually in the form of a, uh, a text message to your phone or a little a, a compliance key fob. Uh, those of you out there that have done any uh, trading or investing with any of the large custodians out there, i.e. Charles Schwab or TD Ameritrade, you may have those uh, little tokens that have the six-digit number on there that allow that, that. Those are two authentic. Those are dual authentication factors to get you into. The, uh, to get you into your, your device uh, and make sure that it's you. And encryption, this is the one that, th this one is the, this is by far the highest blanketed one and the easiest one to, uh, to achieve is you want your data to be encrypted uh, no matter what. And you need to be, it needs to be encrypted both when it's in transit and when it's at rest. A little bit about what that means. When the data is in transit, um, it is if, like, like it, during an email, if you were to send an email from partner A to partner B, is that message encrypted? Uh, that would be, that would be, that is a requirement for HIPAA, and that would be, uh, that would satisfy that, that in transit portion of that. At rest would mean that your data is, is encrypted while it's storing, while it's being stored on the server or whatever location you have it that there is encryption on there and that it cannot be accessed unencrypted easily and wide open. For more information, click on the link below or visit databrackets.com.